Hey guys, if you're getting this message, if you've done backups before with Time Machine and right now you don't have enough free space and you're getting this message, I'm going to show you how to kind of fix it, okay? We're going to reset the Time Machine so we delete all their backups, well, every single older backup so we can start again pretty much uh, without formatting our disk because we don't want to format. Um, I, I don't suggest formatting usually just because you guys might have partitions and I don't want anything to risk any other files, okay? So, um, if this is your first time making a Time Machine backup and you're already getting this message for, with your first Time Machine backup, that really does mean that you need a bigger hard drive. Um, you can exclude some files, so to get there, um, what I'm in right now is in System Preferences. So just click down here below, you're gonna see System Preferences. Just open that up and you're gonna see Time Machine right here. So just click on there and once you're in here, you guys can exclude some files. So just um, right here, you can just click on the plus sign and you can just choose whatever you wanna exclude, okay? So that will save you some space. However, again, if this is your first time, just choose a bigger hard drive or get a bigger hard drive, external hard drive to make your backup. Anyway, so for those of you who just ran out of space, you know, this is your second time or third time that you backed up or whatever time you backed up and you don't have free space, don't worry about it, just close these messages up and we're gonna get started. So right now, the backup that I'm using, um, it's right here on my Mac, so it's called Time Machine. Okay, so it's just Time Machine AC and so that's this one right here. And what we want to do is reset it. So let's do it right away. So right here below, you're gonna see add or remove. So just click right there and we're just gonna remove it right now. Okay, so that's this one right here. And we're gonna remove disk. Stop using disk. Okay, I'm, I'm done to just one disk right now. Now something happened, but this shouldn't really happen. I've done this several times, so that's why I get this. But it's okay. I'm actually just gonna deny this. Okay. And we're gonna go back to our system preferences. And I'm only down to one time machine. So I have two time machines. That's why you see a second one here. If you guys only have one, you guys will see nothing right here. Don't worry about it. We're gonna go right into our disk. Okay, so here's my disk. Here's my time machine. So I'm gonna go right into it. So just double click on it to open it up. And what you guys want to do, so here are your backups. So you can go right into your backups and delete whatever you want. But what I suggest doing is just this. Click on it, press Command Delete, or right click and move to trash. We're going to press OK. We have to empty our trash bin. So don't forget to empty out your trash bin. So this will take some time because it is deleting a bunch of gigs so all your backups right now are being deleted okay so that's why I only suggest having two time machines at minimum okay just in case one fails the other one will still work okay if you're really unlucky both of them will fail but that's another story at least you have one backup now time machines do fail sometimes and uh, you don't just get this failed message without enough space but they actually fail and you can't do anything about it um, another way to do this instead of emptying trash and deleting it by yourself what you guys can do is format Okay, so if you have an external hard drive that's just formatted for this you guys can always go to disk utility So I'm going to show you in disk utility And format your external hard drive. Okay, so here's here it is you guys have to click on erase make sure it's journaled like you see up here and just erase it and that's it after that you guys can just set it up again and that's it. That, it's that easy if you guys want to format it however if you're like me and if you have an external hard drive and you put it into partitions you may not want to format it is safe if you format it uh, your other stuff will not be affected your other um your other partitions however things do go wrong and that uh, we want to avoid those things going wrong. So that's why we're doing it this way. Um, if you format a partition, something goes wrong, your other information, your other partitions can become affected or your disk can fail or something like that. And uh, yeah, so just for not risking that, we're doing it this way. So after this is actually done trashing everything, which is about three terabytes right now, so that's why it's taking this long. Um, you guys can just go to select disk 
and then choose it again okay so you should be able to see available discs um, it's not gonna be like this it's gonna be yellow so choose it so right here is yellow and it says time machine so all I have to do is choose this one use disk and that's it and then it should work again um, so that's my very last step I'm still waiting for it to trash everything but anyways after that you guys are good you guys can just go up here okay and start your backup now and you guys should be good anyways if you guys have any comments questions you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you